You asked for it and here it is. The complete guide to the plus devices and gotchas for Pokemon Go. Alola trainers, I'm Mike, a Pokemon master in training, and welcome to BenderTube, where you get bite-sized tutorials and tech reviews to let you know you should get it or forget it. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and click for notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Now, I'm a huge advocate for these devices. I love playing Pokemon Go, but sometimes my attention is elsewhere. Even when I'm playing the game, I might be in a battle or a raid. During that time, I'm not catching Pokemon, I'm not spinning stops, and this missed opportunity is because I can. Two years in a row now, while filming content for GoFest, my Gotcha Ranger has snagged me like six shinies. Those are rare Pokemon I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. I mean, I don't want to miss this. but I also don't want to miss out on this. When it comes to taking advantage of the advanced features in Pokemon Go, there are four main options available right now. Officially, you have the Pokemon Go Plus and the Pokeball Plus. Unofficially, you have the Gacha and the Gacha Ranger. Each have their pros and cons, and due to popular requests, we're gonna go through all of it. On top of how to pair them, update the firmware, and pair them with a new phone. So, sit down, grab some snacks, and let's just dive in. In Pokemon Go, any of these devices are gonna allow you to catch Pokemon using the standard Pokeball and spin stops and gyms without having to have out your phone. It is worth noting here, regardless of what device you get, it's gonna prioritize catching Pokemon over spinning Pokestops. There's no way to change that order, but in the in-game settings, you can change it so that way you can either catch Pokemon or spin stops or do both. You might not think that's important, but if you do run out of Pokeballs, it's gonna put you in a constant cycle of it asking you if you wanna catch the Pokemon and never actually collect any items. Also, like I said before, this does allow you to gain the ability to catch Pokemon to spin stops while in a raid or battle, which you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Starting with the comparison, the Pokemon Go Plus is the most basic of all the devices. It comes with a wristband and a clip, which I lost, that can be changed out with a screwdriver. You can't just slip it out. It does have to be changed with the screwdriver. And that's also how you're gonna change out the battery because unlike any of the other devices that we're looking at today, this is the only one that isn't rechargeable. The only interaction you have with this device is this little button and LED in the middle. It'll start to vibrate when something pops up and the LED is gonna be green to catch a Pokemon, blue for a Pokestop or gym. If it turns yellow, that means it's a Pokemon that you haven't encountered before which usually that means I'm gonna take out my phone and try to catch it myself. After you press the button, a rainbow of color means that you caught the Pokemon or you got items from the stop. Red means you unfortunately didn't get it, but hey, you still get some points for trying. Now the Pokeball Plus is the more gimmicky version of this. As the name suggests, it looks like a Pokeball and it's rechargeable with a USB-C cable or an optional stand. You just press the top button to interact with it, and as far as Pokemon Go is concerned, it has the exact same features and LED notifications as the Go Plus does. I will say though that the LEDs are a little harder to see outside than it is with the Go Plus. It does, however, do more than the Go Plus, if you have Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee for the Nintendo Switch. In those games, it works as a Joy-Con, letting you control the game, be more interactive with actually throwing Pokeballs at the Pokemon. You can transfer Pokemon from the Let's Go games to the Pokeball itself, a lot like that Poke Walker from back in the Heart Gold and Soul Silver days. So you walk around, you get items, gain experience for your Pokemon, and it is cool because you do that while you're playing Pokemon Go, you're leveling up your character in Let's Go. The only thing I will say about this device though, it is more awkward than the other ones. It doesn't fit on your wrist, doesn't just clip on, it's a ball that's either in your hand or jingling around on your belt all day. Nintendo did recently announce the Pokemon Sleep app and the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. That's a horrible name. Now it's just a little puck that looks like a Pokeball and Pokemon Go works just like a Plus device, but it also has sleep tracking capabilities when you lay it on your bed. Now it's not gonna be out till 2020, but if you guys want me to review it the second it comes out, 
let me know either down in the comment section or hit me up on my Twitter. Up next is the Gotcha. It's a little pill-shaped device that fits in the wristband. It does everything that the Go Plus does, but you don't have to press any buttons if you don't want to. You just walk down the street, spin Poke stops, spin gyms, and catch Pokemon without even having to think about it. It just does it automatically as long as you set it up that way. It recharges users in a proprietary charger, and you usually get about a day or two of battery life out of it, depending on how long you play. And even more than that, if you turn off the vibrate mode on it. It does have an OLED screen, which is unfortunately hard to see outside, but now with the app, if you want to change any of your settings, you can just go in the app and do that on the fly, and set up how you want it to work. You touch this button once to turn it on, keep touching to change menus, hold it to turn on or off features. You're able to turn on and off auto spinning Poke Stops and Gyms, catching Pokemon and catching new Pokemon. And you can also toggle the vibration on and off. And then next screen, you see if the device is currently paired to your phone. I'm not sure how many times I've actually been asked this question, but no your account is not gonna get banned for using this device. The game can't tell the difference between this and a Go Plus. And in the over two years this device has been out, Niantic hasn't been able to figure out how to detect the difference either. It also has a tendency to pop out of the wristband from time to time. If you hit it on a corner or a door frame or something, it might pop out. I've done it a few times. I've always managed to find it or someone else found it for me. But that is something to be worried about cause you know, you don't wanna keep having to buy this thing. The Gotcha Ranger is the amped up version of the Gotcha. We're gonna ignore the compass and flashlights because, well, they're basically useless. It has all the same features of the Gotcha and works in the same exact way, but it's hardwired to the case and has a way bigger battery. Seriously, I can play for days on this without having to recharge it. Unfortunately, being the same device, it's still impossible to see the screen out in the sunlight. But once you set up the device, you're probably not gonna be changing that much anyway. And they did ditch the proprietary charger. They went with a standard USB type A port instead. So much better. Now, I've only had to use this once, but if you find yourself in a really tight bind, you can use the micro USB cable on here to charge your phone. When I bought mine at launch, it came with a lightning adapter so I can charge my iPhone with it if I have to. But I've heard from viewers that bought it more recently that they do now include a USB type C adapter as well. It's just not mentioned on the box. Now it's guy fi time, that's get it or forget it. I feel the Gotcha Ranger is the best out of the bunch. It's rechargeable, it has auto catch features and it's kind of hard to lose. It's not gonna pop off your wrist or anything. Now, if you do want something that goes on your wrist, then I recommend the Gotcha. Now, if you're the type of trainer that feels like automatically catching Pokemon and spinning stops is cheating, still get the Gotcha. You can turn off those auto features and still have a rechargeable Go Plus for the same price as the regular model. The Pokeball Plus is a good choice if you're also into the Switch games. If not, it's really not worth the $50 price tag or the dealing with the form factor on a regular basis. Now, the Go Plus isn't the worst, but the batteries that you have to replace it with aren't cheap and you get more features from a gotcha for the same price. The only way I would recommend getting a Go Plus instead of anything else is if you have to have an official product from Nintendo Niantic and you don't play the Switch titles. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know what device you're leaning towards. And of course, I'm gonna have links to each of these down in the description below. For those of you looking how to set up or update your device, stick around for just a sec. But if you just came here to see which device was right for you, Thanks for stopping by. I hope you found this video helpful and consider subscribing to the channel. For those that stuck around, the process to pair these is basically the same. With the exception that the Pokeball Plus is a different menu option and the gotcha devices might have an extra step before the in-game pairing process. And that's actually where we're gonna start. If you buy a gotcha or a gotcha ranger, you might have to update the firmware before pairing it in-game. Now, for those of you who didn't get gotcha, feel free to skip to the next step. But if you did, it's not that hard to update, but I'll walk you through it anyway. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the Gotcha Update app, either in the App Store or the Play Store. After you get that installed, put your Gotcha or Gotcha Ranger on the charger and make sure it's got that charging connection. Now, make sure the Pokemon Go app is closed and then open the Gotcha Update app. Press that touch sensitive button on your Gotcha device and a Bluetooth pairing request should show up on your screen. Pair that. And then once that's paired, I want you to click that little eye icon at the bottom to see if you're up to date. If you're not up to date, don't worry, I've already gotten you most of the way there. We're through the hard part. Just follow the on-screen prompts and come back here once you're done with that. If you are up to date, then we're ready to move on to the game. All right, to pair your device in Pokemon Go, you first wanna make sure your Bluetooth is turned on 
And if you have that gotcha app open, close it. Then you're gonna open the Pokemon Go app and go to the in-game settings. From there, if you're using a Go Plus, Gotcha, or Gotcha Ranger, you're gonna hit the Pokemon Go Plus menu option. And for the Pokeball, hit the Pokeball Plus option. Either way, on the next screen, you're gonna see available devices at the bottom. Hit the button on your device to turn it on, and then it should show up in that list. Click it on the screen, and unless you already did this in the Gotcha Update app, you're gonna get a Bluetooth pairing request. Pair it, and as soon as everything is connected, you'll get a prompt saying just that. Now you're probably gonna get a tutorial too on how to use your Go Plus or Pokeball Plus, but we talked about all these before, and so you can feel free to skip that if you want. From this screen, you can also adjust those settings to detect nearby Pokemon and Pokestops, or do both. In the future to connect, all you're gonna have to do is hit that little icon on the right side of the screen, and hit the button on your device to turn it on, and you'll be connected. If you do decide to swap phones or upgrade to a new phone, you do need to reset the device. Now, if you can first on your old device, remove it from Pokemon Go by hitting that eject button on the Pokemon Go Plus or Pokeball Plus screen, and also click forget this device in your Bluetooth settings on your phone. From there, you need to reset the device itself. To reset the Go Plus, just press and hold till you see a solid blue light. Then let go and press it again and hold it until it vibrates. To reset a Pokeball Plus, grab a pen and press the pen tip into the small button on the back. To reset either the Gotcha or the Gotcha Ranger, they want you to put it in and out of the charger for it 10 to 20 times repeatedly. Now your hardware is reset and all you have to do is pair it to the new phone using the steps we talked about before. Now, I know that was a lot to take in, but hopefully now you know the ins and outs of the devices, whichever one you chose. So get out there, catch some Pokemon, and become a Pokemon Master. Or at the very least, knock that kid down the street out of the gym because he has a chip on his shoulder with that 100 IV guard chop, and you need to knock him down a peg. That's it for me today. If you liked the video, found it helpful in any way, leave a like, leave a comment, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.